All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the Apostle, those who bring millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all Akim doing and pushing his work, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. So as I'm um, up now, you know, it's like 5 a.m. Spirit is ringing in my head. <laughs> you know, and um, I seen this, uh, I remember this album, because I was going through some old uh, RZA and some, um, just some old tracks, just to, you know, revamp some of the things that they used to say in their songs. And there's a lot of songs that these individuals from, as you would say, Wu-Tang, okay, have released. And there's a lot of things that they said in those songs that are happening now, okay? Especially dealing with this individual RZA. But this song here, with the Wu-Tang Killer Bees, uh, Justice for All, okay? Um, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, Justice for All featuring Killer Army, whatever. Um, a lot of things that uh, were being said, you know, within their tracks is... Uh, I don't want to say, uh, you know, as a prediction, but they're on the inside, so they know. You know, they're rubbing shoulders with those on the inside. But um, when you listen to these tracks here, okay, and I'm going to play this. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get a strike, but I'm going to try to play this for like 10, 10 seconds or something. first thing that popped into my mind was Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay, verse 68, okay. We made cotton cheese. We built our homes and homes for our masters. Facing injustice and humiliation at every point. Yep, and Lamentation and Jeremiah popped up in my mind, okay. That every nation shall walk by and hiss, hiss and wag thy head. You know, so actually, you know what? Let me get into the scripture real quick. Okay, instead of uh, talking real quick, and even this is a part. What the hell? Even this is a part of uh, the curses. Lamentations chapter four and verse three. At camp, I uh, quoted wrong. I, I quoted uh, Lamentations chapter three and four. But even, uh, Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 3, even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to the young ones. The daughters of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. Okay, so what does the ostrich do? Sometimes they plant the egg and they step back on it, okay, and crush it, kill it, okay, destroy it. And what, through a market slinger, or slang, or whatever her name is, what has happened with all these uh, abortions and whatnot, okay? The Judite woman has, come on, man, they're, they're number one for that, okay, at this point in time. But also, let me go into Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay? And these are the curses that hit us, okay? They don't hit those other people. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, and we all know what that's going to do. That's going into, um, you know, those slave ships, okay? By the way, whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women and no man shall buy you okay no man shall redeem you and we know that was dealing with slavery okay and that's not talking about abraham and that 400 years because a lot of these individuals out here they catch themselves tend to be talking about oh that was the 400 years no it was talking about egypt okay so when you uh go back to the song here Lock in and get that out of the way. Okay. And you're listening to the beginning of this song. 
Um, I think this is uh, Martin Luther King, or one of them, you know. But let's go again. And that's exactly what the curse is. That's, <laughs> that's part of the curses. Thou shalt sow and shall not uh, be able to, uh, be able to, um, what was the word for him? Block it. Uh, thou shalt not be able to, um, you know, reap your rewards. Be happy of it. Because you're what? You're in bond to somebody else. You're a slave. Okay? And when it goes back to no man shall uh, buy you, it's going into no man shall redeem you. Okay? And that's what happens in those times. But Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has risen as our Savior to redeem us. Romans chapter 2, uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse uh, 2. Okay? You got to be renewed through the mind. And what was told to, uh, what's his name, Nicodemus? I think that's Matthew chapter 12, uh, fuck, in Matthew chapter 19, okay? And that's only by the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to fulfill all these things. I sent out to these as a God. Okay? These are things which we weren't supposed to do. Right? Uh, rappers. Even these rappers, they put it in their um, songs. Okay. What did you say? Oh, I don't know if it's like so true, true. But, um, but the answer to the question is that you know, you know, these rappers, they got that, um, you know, they straight up, they got that inside ticket to go to church. Go to a certain thing. Dealing with this song here, because they put it in the rap, they put it in the song, and these jokes are just bobbing their head, listening to the beat, not listening to the uh, words. And I remember in, you know, around these times, 98, 96, 95, 94, 92, you know what I mean? I was listening to these people's words, I was hearing what they were saying. And now, especially this individual, Rizza, okay, there's another song that I'm gonna, um, Pull up, which it deals with, um, <laughs> it deals with what's going on right now, okay? So these guys are insiders, man. That the riches should not profit thee, right? Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4 riches. Profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Okay? And what we're doing, we're doing it in righteousness, see? We're doing it to alert the house of Israel. I said, so you in um, Amos chapter 3, starting from verse 1 to verse 2. Okay? We're speaking the words of Yehovah Shemel Shai onto the house of Israel. Okay? They're doing it in, as it says, a false balance. They're doing it in a false balance. They're doing it for um, money, you know, that lucre. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 3. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of the transgressors shall destroy them. And these guys leaned onto the way of those Ephraims, leaned onto the way of Esau, Edom. They turned their way of love, right, and seeking the oppressor's love. Right? Put off the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because those guys in Wu-Tang, they already heard the word. That guy, um, Kamaya or Kamaya, uh, Kalamaya, whatever his name was, Killer Priest, right? He was already in the truth, okay? So, he got pulled away and slipped into the world of FRNs, 
But when you listen to a lot of that uh, 90s rap, they speak a lot of things that are happening now. And they, they're they on the inside. But, but hey, guess what? Yahweh Shem Yahushai has reserved, what, 7,000 7, men that shall not bow the knee to Baal, right? And we got our pasta elders out there in, in the lead, you know, setting the best example, okay? So going back to Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 3, the integrity of the upright shall guide them. Those are integral men, okay? Those men have been out there for over 30 plus years doing this work. You think they couldn't have been involved in uh, serving with the Apostle Elder of the Bar? You think he couldn't have been involved in boxing? He loves boxing, you know? Not in the sense that he would put off the uh, work for boxing. We see him out there, okay? We've all came into the truth. And that's, hey, that's all our spiritual uh, daddies right there. <laughs> you know, Apostle Elder Tahar, Apostle Elder Kabar, Apostle Elder uh, Aramna, Rakar. Those are our spiritual daddies right there, you know. But you think he would have put off this work to go uh, into the boxing world? Or how was about um, Apostle Elder Kabar? You think he would have put it off for music? You know what I mean? Or even uh, uh, Ricard, because Ricard, he he was into uh, boxing too, you know? So, you think these elders would have put that off for this work? No. They kept on uh, striving. Strive on to the truth. You know, strive, um, slack, yeah, how's it going? Uh, strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall, shall fight for thee. Roughly phrasing, okay? So, you know, these rappers, they know what's going on. They know what's up. They put it in their lyrics, okay? So, you know, they're going to be destroyed. They ran after those FRNs, okay? They ran after that money, and it shall not profit them in the day of destruction, you know? So with that, this was a short one. With that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakakudash. Double honor to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word, and honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. I hope you're edified. Waha Abad